Many books and experts offer advice these days on how to achieve better health through diet. But a new book called The PH Miracle takes a unique approach to nutrition, teaching people how to eat in a way that balances their body chemistry. It was written by Dr. Robert Young, a microbiologist and nutritionist, and his wife, Shelley Redford Young, who is a chef. Robert and Shelley, good morning. Nice to good see morning. you. Good morning. I Pleasure. should say, first off, tell everyone that I actually wrote the foreword for your book. Your book. You asked you me to did. do that. Thank we, you so much. we met about 10 years ago when you first started this plan. Mm -hmm. So tell me, first off, tell everyone, what, what, what is the pH miracle? What does that mean? Well, the pH miracle is about uh, changing lives and saving lives. It's a revolutionary medical, scientific medical approach, uh, a new idea, a new theory about to, you know how to well the theory is uh, one sickness one disease one treatment uh, which is revolutionary that uh, disease is an expression of states of imbalance uh, that how we feel really has to do a lot about balancing our internal terrain so what is the pH then in your system what what role does it play in good health well just like uh, in a swimming pool or in an aquarium that that delicate pH balance uh, if uh, the pH goes off a little bit, uh, the fish gets sick. And, of course, it's a metaphor that I use. Uh, what would you do? Uh, would you treat, treat the water or treat the fish or change the water? And so it's just like within our own bodies, that delicate pH uh, at 7.365, our fluids of our bodies need to be balanced. If not, that's when acids are expressed. And so there's a, a balance between acid and alkaline. So the balance between acid and alkaline is key because if your acid level is too high, then what? Well, then what happens is disease or sickness is expressed. Much like our temperature at 98.6, if it varies, let's say, one point or two, that's when we start feeling ill effects. But uh, it's the same thing with the fluids of our body. The cells are only as healthy as the fluids that they're bathed in, much like the fish. The fish is only as healthy as the water in which it swims in. You have uh, worked with thousands of people, not only in this country, but around the world, and I know that many of the testimonials of those people and their sickness and their healing are, are, are in this book. You've worked with patients who have cancer, with MS, with heart disease, and not to simplify too much, but the work and the results are essentially the same. Well, it really comes back to that foundational theory that that this one sickness, one disease, one treatment, that uh, due to an inverted way of living, eating, and thinking, which disturbs the central balance and creates acidity within our systems, that then cells start breaking down, which then expresses various symptomologies. It's really not, the book is really not about disease, but it's really bringing balance to our internal fluids of our body. So how do you change that balance? Well, you change it with what you eat, you change it with your lifestyle. It, foods that are less acidic would be what? And I should turn to Shelley for that answer. Right. Foods that are less acidic would be considered alkalizing. So uh, we're going to go straight to the garden, first of all, to plants that have the molecular structure like our own blood. So the greens, anything that's dark green, leafy, that's, that's where you want to base your diet from, those great hydrating, alkalizing vegetables. I have a list of foods that uh, your plant avoids. Right. Pork and chicken and beef and dairy products and high sugar fruits, starchy right. foods, mushrooms, condiments. That about covers everything. <laughs> thing in the refrigerator, doesn't it? What yeah. is left? <laughs> yeah, that's the big question we get. So uh, if 80 or 90 percent of our diet is acidic, that's a big clue to us. That's a big red flag. It's also reflective of why diseases are on the rise today. So it, it helps us to know which way to go, and that's again back to the garden, back to the greens, back to God's butter, avocado, you know, those types of things. You mentioned the 70-30 rule. Right. 70-30. Our earth is 70 percent water, 30 percent matter. My body is 70 percent water, 30 percent matter. So I teach people to build their plate the same way. 70% hydrating foods, 30% matter. You, we've talked about the, uh, the increase in uh, obesity in this country right. and certainly diabetic uh, conditions that are on the rise as well. You say this is all related to that. Body chemistry, but, looking at body chemistry instead of calorie counting right, is so it's, important. It's, always, it's related to an over acidic lifestyle that obesity really is not about fat, it's about acid. And so when I, when I see an overweight person, I don't perceive them as o o obese per se or fat, I perceive them as over acidic. The body retains fat to bind to acids. It's a protective mechanism. It's a pre preservation mode that the body goes into to try to preserve and sustain and maintain the integrity of the internal organs. Tell me about your favorite testimonial. Your favorite story of a, of a turnaround. There are many of them in here. Well, serious diseases. Uh, one of my favorite is, is, a, is a woman from Dallas, Texas, who's been diabetic, type 1 diabetic for 23 years. Within 30 days on this program, she is totally and completely off insulin. And she was taking 120 20 units a day. And she is now diabetes-free. Her pancreas is now functioning. 
there are many stories like that, including uh, type 4 cancers and all the rest of it. Exactly so right. It's an interesting idea. You have to go into it with an open mind, I guess. Amazon.com has uh, put you on its hottest new book list, yeah. so that's, that's yeah. terrific. Congratulations, <laughs> Dr. You. Robert Young and Shelley Young. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much.